All right, objective 105 is students will be able to wrap almost as well as your math teachers. That's right. The key here is almost. Because let's be honest, you won't be able to wrap as well as we can. Okay. The real objective here is rounding. But in order to round, we're going to teach you how to wrap too. Okay. So, with all good wraps, you got to have lyrics. Uh, Miss Moran and I have lyrics for you. So, let's go over what those lyrics are. And then you can wrap with us. So, to round numbers given to a place value. Um, one quick thing before I go on to the lyrics is we're, we're going to tell you now. You're going to make silly mistakes on problems because you don't use cups that at the end tell you to round an answer. That's another reason why cups is so important. You have to catch the problems that tell you to round a number at the end. Trust me, it's going to happen to most of you. You're going to miss it at times because you're not always using cups. Okay, so make sure you're using cups on any type of problem, especially word problems. Okay, the lyrics go like this. Underline the place value. Okay, next is draw an arrow next door, which is already filled out. And right now, let's do this. We're always going to draw the arrow to the right. Okay, so make sure you get that in ask that number okay and we should have a comma here after number and then you always capitalize inside the quotation marks here to start a quote so we're gonna ask that number uh, are you bigger than four bigger than four okay if the number says yes then add one more okay and I also want to add to this here okay, and we're going to add one more um, to let's put in parentheses here to underlined number okay so that means to underlined number and we could even put a number here to show that's the number that's being underlined okay if the number says no, okay, if the number says no, then it don't grow. When you guys write a Pritzker, no contractions. Don't deal in possibility, no contractions, okay? Next, everything after becomes zero. Okay? And the key is everything after becomes zero. All right. Um, let's go on to, so rounding uh, whole numbers to the left of the decimal. So here's a key point. There are other names. We already learned place value. Remember the ones place value is the number just to the left of the decimal there. Okay, it's the first one to the left of the decimal. There are other names for the ones place value. It may say to round to the nearest whole number. Okay, it's really important that you guys memorize these. If it tells you to round to the nearest whole number, that's saying the same thing as the ones place value. It may also say round to the nearest integer. Okay, So if you ever say C, round to the nearest whole number or round to the nearest integer, it really means the ones place value. Okay. Alright, here's how the lyrics go. And this is where we teach you how to wrap. All right, so you guys can be looking at the lyrics as I say them, okay? First, though, let's do one. I'm going to do one without the actual wrap so you can see how it applies to this problem, okay? So it goes like this. And again, I'm just going to say the lyrics. This problem right here tells us to round to the nearest 10,000s, okay? Now... This is not THS, that, so that tells us it's not the decimal. So I just do the 
uh, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousand. So this five, okay, this is where the wrap starts. We underline the place value that told us to round to, the ten thousands, which is a five. Okay. We draw an arrow next door. We draw an arrow just to that number, just to the right of it. Okay, So draw an arrow next door. We ask that number, the one that we just drew the arrow to, that number, are you bigger than four? Okay. If the number says yes, let's look at this one. We drew an arrow next door. You guys should have this with me. Is the number bigger than four? So is four bigger than four? And the answer to that is no, it's not. It's the same, but it's not bigger. Okay, so if the number says yes, then add one more. If the number says no, then it don't grow. And remember, this, the number that we underline, is the one that we're changing. It either grows or it doesn't grow. Okay? In this case, underline the place value, draw an arrow next door, ask the number, are you begin forward? Number says no, so it don't grow. So the five stays the same. It doesn't grow. Okay? So one five, everything after becomes zero. So that four becomes a zero. You keep the comma. Everything after becomes zero. So this number rounded to the nearest ten thousands is one hundred and fifty thousand. And we should always double check to make sure like the original number is one hundred and fifty four thousand eight hundred ninety. Is one hundred and fifty thousand close to that? And the answer is yeah, it's pretty close to that. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to wrap it for you. Okay. The lyrics, but I'm going to wrap it for you. So here's how it goes. You ready? You ready to hear your teacher rap? I'll do it live for you too. It's much better live. But here it goes. Okay. Underline the place while you draw an arrow next door. Ask that number. Are you bigger than four? The number says yes. Then add one more. The number says no. Then it don't grow. Everything else becomes zero. That's it. Right there. So let's apply it to this next problem. I know. You're laughing at me at home. Trust me. I'll make you guys uh, rap in front of everyone. Then we'll see who's laughing. All right, this next one. Round to the nearest whole number. Okay, whole number is what place value? You should have said the ones place value. Okay, so again, the wrap. Okay, underline the place value, which is the ones. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Draw an arrow next door. Ask that number. Are you bigger than four? The number says yes, so is seven. Is it bigger than four? Yeah, it is, so the number's gonna say yes. So if the number says yes, then add one more. So again, we only add one to the number that's underlined here, okay? So we add one more. And then everything after becomes zero. So the 37 comma five one stays the same. The eight, we said it's gotta grow. Remember, or I mean, uh, add one more. So we got to add 1 to the 8, which becomes a 9. Everything else becomes 0, so point zero. Now, do we need to show point zero? The answer is no. Just like if a number is 5.0, you don't have to write this. If a number is 5.0, do we have to show point zero? No, you can just write 5. So in ours, just 37,519. Um, Sorry, that should be 1, 19. That's it. That's your answer. Let's go ahead and do the next one. Round the product of 24 and 3 tenths and 16 and 4 tenths. Sorry, I was adjusting that. I need to be using cups as I read this. So round the product means what operation? Multiplication of 24 and, oh, there's that decimal, 3 tenths. So 24 and three tenths, so tenths place value, so three. And, so this is, again, the and here is the product because it's in between the two numbers. Okay. And the other number was, let's see, 16 and four tenths. So 16 is simply 16, and there's that decimal, four tenths. So this is the tenths place value, and it needs a four in it. Okay, And it says round it to the nearest integer. So go ahead and do that on your calculator quick. And when you do that on your calculator you get 398.52 and it says to round to the nearest integer 
the integer. Now, one quick thing. Whenever we see the word round, and I have not been doing this because it's a rounding objective, but we need to really circle that because we cannot, we cannot afford to miss points on tests because we didn't see the word round. Okay, So it says to round the nearest integer, which is the ones place value. So underline the place value, draw an arrow next door, ask that number, are you bigger than four? The number says yes, then add one more. The number says no, then it don't grow. Everything after becomes zero. All right, so we have another place value. Draw an arrow to five. Is five bigger than four? The answer is yes. So if the number says yes, then add one more. So we got to add one to this eight. So this remember everything to the left stays the same. Okay, that's a common mistake. Since we want to change that to the left stays the same. Which again, left is this way. Okay, and everything after. So this becomes a nine because it's got to grow. Everything after becomes zero. So point zero zero. Do we need to show those two zeros after the decimal? No. So the answer in this one is just three ninety nine. Okay. All right. Let's do example four quick. Round sixty five thousand three hundred eighty five point zero eight nine six. Let's see. How would I say that? That's the tenths, hundreds, thousands, tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands is what that decimal place goes out to. To the nearest tens. Does it have a THS? No. So it's not the decimal. Um, let's put just really quick no THS. That tells us it's not the decimal. Okay, It's the tens place value. So this is the ones, this is the tens. So I'm going to underline the eight. Underline the place value, draw an arrow next door. Ask that number. Are you bigger than four? The number is going to say yes. So if the number says yes, then add one more. I know you guys were saying that lyric in your head. You like this rap. All right, so this becomes 65,003. Had to add one to the eight, so it becomes a nine. Everything else becomes zero. Now, we don't have to show the point zero, 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 okay? We can just circle that. That is the final answer. Okay, now, the last few examples here are... Ones that are a little bit trickier. Um, we're going to start with example six. Okay, so let's go to example six. It says round. 897.9 to the nearest tens. Okay, again, not the decimal because it doesn't have the THS. Okay, so let's look at this. The nearest tens place. So we got the ones, we got the tens. Tens. Okay. So we underline the place value, draw an arrow next door, ask that number, are you bigger than four? And I'm just going to say yes. So we would have to add one more. Now, we can't just make this nine a ten. The number does not. Okay, and I want you to write this down because this is, we're going to cross it out then. It does not become eight and then nine becomes a ten and then seven and then point zero zero. And we can see that that's an insane answer. Because we went from something that was less than a thousand to something that's now eight thousand. That's insane. Okay, it's not even close. So if we have a nine and it needs to grow, okay, it can't. We simply have to look just a little bit further to the left, and the one right beside it ends up growing. So this eight is the one that's going to grow. Okay? So the eight becomes a nine and everything else becomes zero everything after everything after becomes zero okay. now does this answer make sense we were at 897.9 now we're at 900 yes that's an answer that's rounded correctly okay. so again if you have a nine that needs to grow you actually have to have the number just to the left of it it's the one that has to grow you have to add one to it so you have to add one more to it okay so now if we go back up to example five, it says to round the nearest hundreds place value. Okay, round. So ones, tens, hundreds. So we underline the place value, draw an arrow next door, ask that number, are you bigger than four? If the number says yes, then add one more. Okay, so because this is a nine though, we can't add one to it. Okay, so we have to look to the left. That's also a nine. So we can't add one to that. Again, we can't just make a 10. So 
I know there's nothing here, but we actually have to add a place value here, and we have to add a 1 to that. Okay, so I'm just going to bring that down here. We show that, oh, that turned into a 1. Okay, nothing was there. Okay, so we add one more to that, because again, we can't to the line. And everything after becomes 0. So this 9 right here, and draw these little lines, becomes a 0. This 9, a 0. This 8, a 0. This 9, a 0. Do we have to show this decimal 0, 0, 0? No, we don't. Okay, so then this becomes 10,000, or we can just write it as 10,000, okay? So, is this answer reasonable? You should always check that. This number before was 9,989.998, okay? Is that really close to our final rounded answer of 10,000? And the answer is clearly yes, it is. Okay, so that's it for examples. Now, as part of this video homework, so when you come to class, the next class period, you need to do practices 1 through 6. So again, as part of this video, you need to do the next practice problems, numbers 1 through 6. That is part of this video homework. Okay? All right. Um, oh, by the way, we'll, we'll wrap live in class for you. It'll be a lot better, and you're all going to be standing up there wrapping with us. Can't wait for it. Who's laughing now?